Give us an update on the state of your work, of the sector, of the work that you've been pioneering all these years. Where do things stand now in the industry and what's your position these days? Yeah, so we started you know, five years ago with this unique core capability around creating and managing time-based metadata. And the bet you know, five years ago was that the market would move towards a realization that this is the, the key to unlock the value of video content, whether it's for content discovery like SEO, content engagement like search, um, or content monetization, which is you know, related content, contextual content, and, and ad targeting around video content. So tell us about the work and how it's evolved and the kind of services that you're providing, particularly to the big media companies. Yeah, I think the, the key premise we've always had is that automation is really important because especially with big media use cases, they produce so much video that if you can't have a strong automated approach to the creation of this rich metadata and the application of this metadata, then it doesn't work for them for an ROI, uh, from an ROI basis. So um, with, with companies like NFL and PBS and Comcast and Fox, um, we're able to ingest their content 24-7, automatically create this rich metadata, and then use that um, for specific end-user enhancements like site search, um, topic publishing, and contextual video experiences to help them drive more revenue from, from the content they produce. So what about the whole closed caption scenario? Is that something that you're involved with? Yeah, this is just a, yet another example where time-based metadata is really critical. Uh, you know, last year, uh, Congress passed the uh, Communications and Video Accessibility Act, which now mandates broadcasters to have closed caption on web content by September. Uh, and so, you know, yet another example of why time-based metadata is so important. Um, and not only for, for sort of compliance, in this case, to a government regulation, but we know from our studies that the presence of, of transcripts and tags drives 40 to 300 percent more uh, video engagement with uh, end users. You're automated, so how does that work in terms of the uh, authenticity or, or the correct, you know, the veracity the of, the, uh, of, of, of the accuracy? Sure. So there's always is sort of a, a dual approach here. If you're talking about high quality, you know, talking head studio content, then the automated approach will get you virtually all the way there. You know, you're talking 90% accurate. Um, if it is uh, less than sort of talking head studio quality, then we have a whole set of, of human enhancements to make sure that the metadata is highly accurate and, and useful to the end user. And what about um, users like advertisers or brands? Are they getting into the game and what's the value for them? Yeah, slowly and surely. I think the first use case um, is, is brand safety, right? So our ability to categorize videos into um, blacklist and whitelist categories for you know, offensive content where maybe an advertiser doesn't want an ad shown is sort of the first use case. Um, but the ability for advertisers to target ads using metadata is, is next up the way you know it's become a multi-billion dollar industry around text um, the same thing will happen with video um, as advertisers look for more targetability and and better performance for their for their advertisements tell us about uh, the operation and, and maybe where you might be going. Yeah, well, we had a huge milestone in Q4. It was our first cash flow positive uh, quarter, and as a young company, that's just a massive milestone uh, that you you strive for and, and and sort of celebrate when you achieve. So, um, you know, it's really been a validation that the bet we took five years ago, you know, is paying off as the markets continue to to move towards us. We've renewed over 90% of our customers each of the last three years. So, you know, our our solution continues to deliver value to the customers as well, and and we see lots of growth ahead. Um, for things like second screen and augmented television applications, you know, where again, understanding what's inside the video unlocks the ability to associate other kinds of related content to that video, both sort of on demand and in live, uh, live scenarios too.